Earth is home to incredible animals that defy logic. In this episode, we will reveal some of the weirdest and coolest creatures that share our planet. Get ready for a wild ride. Let's go. Some of our planet's water bodies are home to countless bioluminescent microorganisms that make the water sparkle with any movement, be it a wave or a boat. And if you stroll on the beach by these waters, it will also shimmer, responding to your footsteps. In the bioluminescent waters, even a crab's breathing is lit up. The ostracod is a tiny creature that can glow as a defense mechanism. It looks like a tasty snack for this fish, but it is not. The ostracod has a volatile mix of chemicals in its body when it is threatened by a predator. The chemicals react and produce a bright bioluminescent burst. The ostracod can make up to 10 such bursts and they taste so bad that the fish spits it out right away. And the ostracod has a clever way to escape. The burst is so dazzling that it blinds the fish and also reveals it. The fish can't see anything for a while, but it is clearly seen. This can be dangerous in the ocean. There is always someone bigger and hungrier around. A cunning creature has crafted a cozy home in the reeds, bending and folding the leaves into a pouch. This ingenious architect is the maker of these strange dwellings. She selects the leaves with precision, as if measuring them with a ruler. She then spins a web around her eggs, weaving it back and forth thousands of times. This way, she ensures that her offspring are safe and secure. She guards them day and night without eating anything. In case any predators come near, Thanks to her love and devotion, the eggs hatch within the web. The spiderlings are lively and curious, ready to explore the world. They emerge from their web nest, grateful for their mother's care. But life is harsh for these tiny spiders. They need to find food and learn to hunt. How will they survive without any skills? Their mother has a simple solution. She offers herself as their first meal. She stays still while her babies feed on her, until nothing is left of her. This is the ultimate sacrifice of the female spider, who gives up her life to give her offspring a chance to live. After they finish eating their mother, they leave their home and disperse. A large brood of spiderlings hatched in the British countryside. They had about 200 siblings, but they were not friendly at all. They ate each other with hunger and started to devour their own kin as soon as they were born. Some of the brothers escaped the gruesome feast, not wanting to join in. The spiderling tried to flee as fast and far as she could, but she had a problem. The others had the same idea as her and soon she ran out of space. She was trapped, with her ravenous brothers closing in, but she had a remarkable skill that helped her escape. She shot out silk threads that carried a negative charge into the positively charged air. The opposite charges attracted and lifted her up. She used the laws of physics to soar high. Then the wind caught her and carried her for thousands of kilometers. They spread across the whole world with these flights. She had no control over where she would land. And she accidentally touched down on the water. But she was so light that she did not sink. But she was so light that she did not sink. She spun her magic silk again and skied on the water. Until she found something to hold on to. This was her new home. This is a savanna pangolin. A mammal that looks like an armadillo but is not related to it. It has a thick armor that covers almost a third of its body weight. It feeds on up to 200,000 ants a day and has no natural predators. Besides its armor, it has another defense mechanism. It can spray a foul-smelling liquid from its anal glands to deter any attackers. However, it always smells bad, and you will soon see why. The animal likes to roll in fresh dung of zebras. Maybe this is to get rid of parasites. Or maybe this is its personal preference, not perfume. The animal goes to sleep. In the frozen forest of Canada, winter lasts for six months. Under the ground, the most northern turtles in the world are frozen. They are painted turtles that hatched last fall. Since then, they have barely moved and were frozen by the harsh winter. They are now dead. But for some animals, death is not permanent. Painted turtles are waiting for the most crucial moment. The arrival of spring. Their body temperature rises above zero, and their hearts start beating again. They slowly come back to life. Thanks to their body's superpowers, these turtles survive. This squirrel works tirelessly under the ground and into the hole. Time is pressing, but all this did not go unnoticed. Behind him, secretly watching, is this one who also seeks food. A cunning thief, Cedar, she also needs to stock up for the winter. 
but to look for nuts is lazy. Where easier to steal them, just watch the squirrels. That's actually what she does. But the squirrel is not the most stupid and makes fake catches. The bird comes and there is nothing there. But Cedar is a persistent bird. The next catch of the squirrel she finds quickly and drags several nuts in a couple of seconds. The squirrel does not have time to drive away the thief. Some of the most artistic birds in the world live in the forests of Papua New Guinea and Northern Australia. They are the male bowerbirds who dedicate their lives to the art of seduction. They are the male bowerbirds who dedicate their lives to the art of seduction. They use their wing feathers to perform a dazzling dance for the females, but there is a catch some males cheat. They mimic the colors of more mature males. However, they can't fool the females for long. To master such a complex dance, it takes about five years. If the young males don't practice, they will be exposed when the real dancer shows up. Some ants have found a clever way to make their homes in the forest. They use acorns that have fallen from the oak trees as their nests. Each acorn can fit hundreds of tiny ants inside. It may seem like a cozy and safe place to live, but there is a catch. The acorns are also food for some hungry animals, like the giant turkeys that roam around. The ants have to brace themselves and protect their young. When the turkeys peck at the acorns, luckily, the acorns are hard and round, so they can roll away from danger. The ants owe their survival to a small insect, the oak weevil. Without it, they would have no place to live. The oak weevils drill holes in the acorns before they are ripe. They do not eat the acorns, but they use them to lay their eggs. Each weevil lays only one egg per acorn, and then moves on to another one. When the acorns mature, they drop to the ground and are quickly gathered by squirrels. But some acorns are left behind, because they are empty. The weevil larvae have eaten their way out, and left behind hollow shells. These are the ones that the ants move into. They can enter through the holes that the weevils made. If it were not for the weevils, the ants would not be able to make holes in the acorns themselves. Christmas Island in the Indian Ocean is home to hordes of forest crabs, tens of millions of them. These crabs are the main attraction of the island, and tourists come here to see them. But unfortunately, these creatures have started to die out massively in recent years. Millions of red crabs do not reach the sea. The reason is that the island was invaded by yellow crazy ants. They are called that because they are very aggressive and destructive. They were accidentally brought here on ships visiting the island and, due to the lack of predators, they created huge super colonies in the forest. They were accidentally brought here on ships visiting the island and, due to the lack of predators, they created huge super colonies in the forest. When migrating red crabs march through their territory, the ants attack. They inject formic acid into the eyes and mouths of crabs and their eggs, which are absolutely defenseless. Blinded, beaten, and confused, they are doomed. This isolated community of crabs lived peacefully for millions of years on this island, but now, because of the negligence of people who brought in ants, in a short time 30 million crabs were exterminated. And now on the island instead of 80 million there are 50 million. In general, 80% of animals extinct due to humans were island animals. Eternally hungry ants tear crabs apart into pieces and carry them to their anthills. The network of roads crossing the island also does not contribute to the prosperity of these animals. Crabs do not mind to replenish themselves. Even with their crushed comrades, people try to help crabs overcome roads. Traffic on some of them is stopped for the time of migration. Also, local residents even built special bridges that allow crabs to cross the busiest roads at their own pace. Underground passages were also created. All this way crabs make to get to the water and lay eggs. And they are afraid of water because a caught by it wave can easily tear a crab into small pieces, which actually happens with many here. Fast water tears the unfortunate ones apart. Fish are only happy about it. Well, the most severe thing starts when billions of tiny crustaceans hatch from the eggs and rush back to the forest, repeating the winding path of their parents. Here yellow crazy ants go crazy to the fullest. Small crabs are destroyed on an industrial scale, filling their pantries to the brim. Fortunately, there are so many crabs that a huge number of them manage to cross through the land of ants. A carpet of crabs covers everything in its path. They are literally everywhere. The world is very dangerous if you are very small. Many do not reach their parents' home, but those who do also have nothing to envy. 
Let's explore the Amazon rainforest, where a spider monkey is taking a huge gamble by going down to the ground. It could become a meal for a jaguar, but it has a strong craving for a piece of soil. However, it hears a rustling sound from the foliage and quickly joins the other monkeys on the trees. It turns out to be a false alarm. It was only a group of wild pigs, but the monkey was able to grab a piece of soil. What does it want it for? Well, to eat it, of course. What else would you do with soil? The monkey's bravery pays off and they can feast on the soil. And here we have an elephant in the wilds of Thailand. It has no need to take any risks to get soil. Nobody would dare to mess with them. Elephants dig up the earth and put large chunks in their mouths. You may recall that. I once mentioned a similar habit of eating soil among various kinds of birds. All these animals consume it for the minerals that are abundant in clay and scarce in plants. That's why they can't get all the nutrients they need. From plants alone, that's why they have to eat soil. Some curious creatures live on the rocks of the North American West Coast. They are called acorn barnacles. They seal themselves in their tiny castles, surrounded by a circle of tough plates when the tide is low. But when the water rises, they open their fluffy legs, which they use to filter plankton and breathe water. These are crustaceans, related to crabs and shrimps. They are stuck and immobile, but that doesn't stop them from reproducing. The amazing thing is that these animals have huge sexual organs, the longest of any animal relative to their body size. Their sexual organ is eight times their body length. What do you think you see in these pictures? Is one shark eating another? No. This is just a male shark trying to get the female to mate with him. For this kind of animal, mating is very harsh for the female as she ends up with wounds after it. It's a wonder that she survives. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another video soon. Stay tuned.